Our winner of this year's 2005 Chicago Idol competition is Miss Stephanie Parker. Set it go down, 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 down. Set it go down. Set it go down, 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 down. Set it go down, 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 down. Set it go down, 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 down. Instagram. TikTok message, he hits it on every platform just to let me know to keep it nice and warm. Eggplant emojis, he know just how to get a hold of me. All day I be reading, it be so lit in my DM. What's up guys it's your girl Steph and Max here and welcome back to my channel welcome to another episode of Set it go down, 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 down. Set it go down. Sundays ladies and gentlemen this is the place you can come every week if you want to just unwind and chill and learn some very valuable information about the music business show business the entertainment business um, the first video I did was, what was it, Maxi? He's having a moment. And hashtag Max moment. You know what those are by now. Anyway, first video was how to sing like Whitney Houston. Second video was how to grow your small YouTube channel. And today, today's video, I'm so excited to share this knowledge and this information with you all. Today's video is about what it takes to become a cruise ship singer. And I get asked that question a lot. If I had a dollar for the amount of times I was asked this question. So this is part one of a two part series because I had two jobs as a cruise ship singer. The first one was a production singer. I was the lead vocalist in the production shows and I used to live on board for six months at a time. And I did that for almost five years. So I'm gonna give you everything I've learned about that. And then part two is about what I do now. I'm a headliner entertainer. So I only fly on for short contracts and I do my Whitney show uh, one show a night, which is very, very rare to transition from a production singer to a headliner entertainer on cruise ships. It's not really heard of. So uh, a toot toot. But anyway, this is part one. For those of you that are new to my channel, we sing a little song before we get started every Sunday. It simply goes like this. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Please comment and like and subscribe. What? And turn on your notifications, notifications, notifications. Okay, y'all, let's get into what it takes to be a cruise ship singer, part one. Number one, you wanna have a good show reel. Your show reel should be two minutes long of your best stuff singing popular music those are the type of songs that you'll be performing in the production shows so those are the type of songs that they're going to want to make sure you're able to perform comment below if you want me to make a video about how to create a good show reel because there is an art to doing that i've seen some show reels and i'm like oh ma'am you know your show reel is like your audition tape basically it's very very important so i've come to learn how to make pretty good uh show reels in my in my time. Once you do your show reel, you wanna email that to the casting department for whatever cruise line you're trying to go for. And back in the day, you know, you used to just have to hunt these emails down. But now luckily, most of the cruise lines have social media pages that are specifically for <clears throat> casting calls. Like I know Royal Caribbean does it, I know Princess Cruises does it. I think it's Royal Caribbean Entertainment, Princess Cruises Entertainment, don't quote me on that. but. Anyway, there are multiple ways to reach out to casting directors, and they're always having open casting calls anyway. If you follow them on, this, on their social media pages, they're always looking for dancers, looking for singers. They are always putting it out there. I don't know why more of us don't do it, but anyway, next. Oh my goodness, get in shape, y'all. I wish somebody would've told me this before I started as a production singer. Like, I went to cruise ships to escape an abusive relationship. We'll talk about that later, honey. 
And so I knew nothing about cruising on, you know, singing on cruise ships. I had never done it before. But thank the Lord, honey, I was a cheerleader in high school and I did a lot of musical theater back in high school. And when I tell you I had to pull from that, you talk about people not using their college degrees, honey. I'm using stuff I learned in high school. So I was pulling from all that musical theater stuff. I hadn't done it in forever. But I was gonna get that job because I was gonna get away from that crazy lunatic. So <clears throat> anyway, the Lord is working on me. Lord is working on me. Did Max leave us, guys? He left us. He did not want to hang out with us today. We're, he'll be back. He always comes back. That's my baby. That's how I became a production singer, and I didn't know anything about it. And so I didn't know that I needed to really be in shape. I didn't know anything about the costuming. I knew nothing. So I showed up, and I was the biggest girl in my cast. And you know, I didn't think I was a big girl. You know what I'm saying? But there, didn't I say he would be back? Hello, welcome back. Welcome back. He's been angry with me today because today he needed to take a bath and he has this little like dry kitty shampoo and then we needed to clean his ears out and he just doesn't like being bothered when he doesn't want to be bothered. But he was a good boy. Like he wasn't fighting. He just was like, meh, meh. get in shape. Get in shape. You're going to have to go into these costumes and fittings and I hated being the biggest girl in my cast. It was, I was so self-conscious and uncomfortable so if you're trying to do this this is this is show business for real you know what I'm saying these aren't just I don't know what people think cruise ship entertainment is but to me I think the shows are better on the ships than they are on the strip I'll say it I sang on the strip I can I can put that out there that's the truth get in shape go to the gym get in shape get in shape know how to sight read you should know how what are you doing over here you should know how to sight read. And you don't have to like read like very, very quickly. I was lucky to have attended Indiana University Bloomington School of Music and my mother put me in piano when I was five. So I was kind of familiar, you know, with sight reading. But if I didn't know how to do it, oh my God, I would be so behind because your music is typed out. Everything is typed out in a score and you need to be able to keep up once, once you start vocal rehearsals, which are extremely intense. So please take some YouTube classes online and learn how to sight read. They will send you the learning materials ahead of time. I worked for Princess Cruises as a production singer and Princess sends the audio version with and without vocals, sheet music and lyric sheets, but still write your lyrics down. It helps with memorization. Write your lyrics down. I sang at the Mayfair Supper Club at the Bellagio Hotel, Las Vegas. And when I first got the job, I didn't know what it was going to be either. It was during the cruise shutdown. And I wasn't aware how much material it was. And I knew the way that I like to learn material because that's how I did it on cruise ships. That's how I did it when I was singing background for all these national recording artists. So I attack every single new gig the exact same way. And I can do a video of that right here. Let it go down, 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 down. Let it go down. But when I sang there, I had to write everything down. So this is my Steph's vocal Bible is what I call it. And um, I wrote down every single thing, every word, every lyric, everything. And this thing goes, on and on and on and on and on and on and then they like to make changes at the last minute i'm just showing you all that i'm not lying to you and this is what you need to do because if you do this you will know it it will help with your memorization so so much max is on the mouse again thank you so much i know you don't like when i touch the mouse practice the shows a cappella. You're probably gonna have three separate shows being a production singer. And when you practice at home before they fly you, cause they're gonna fly you out uh, to either Miami or Los Angeles, whichever cruise line you work for, put you up in an apartment. But we'll talk about that later. Um, but before you get flown out, they'll send you the stuff like three weeks ahead of time, maybe even a month ahead of time. Practice that stuff a cappella. You do not know a song unless you can sing it without any kind of music 
any kind of backing tracks, okay? Now, you're ready for rehearsals. You, you've been told, okay, you got the job, we're gonna fly you to LA, you got your flights, you're packed for six months. Six months you gotta pack for, okay? Because you go straight from rehearsals directly to the ship. You don't get to go back home and pick up a few more items. So you have to pack for six whole months. That is so hard to do. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to do a video. How to pack for your production singer contract, cause boy, that used to suck. Anyway, you're gonna be sharing a room with your castmates. And it, it, it feels very much so like the real world. I'm showing my age. Uh, maybe for young people that are watching, I love you Bobby Purr. Like how they move into the house together and they don't know each other. And it's all these different personalities. That is exactly what it was like for me. And luckily I had really cool roommates um, during my time. Like shout out to my girl Annie Mason's from Australia. But yeah, just be ready to meet all kinds of new people on this journey. Now, when you start rehearsals, you wanna to get to rehearsals early. Rehearsals are gonna be all day, like a regular nine to five job with an hour lunch break. You wanna get there early. When I worked for Princess, before I had my car, I used to have to walk <laughs> or, uh, yeah, I would walk in the mornings to rehearsal and it was a nice little trek, but I needed the exercise anyway. But be early for rehearsals and pack a lunch, a healthy lunch. You're gonna be working hard all day. There is no downtime when you are in production singer rehearsals. There's no joke. Rehearsals, yeah, they're about eight to 10 hours long every day and they go on for, I wanna say a month and a six to eight weeks. Let's just put it like that. And now while you're at rehearsal, you've got, you're gonna wanna take notes at rehearsal. And I do not mean, let me pull my iPad out, no. You need to old school to have a pencil. I would always bring a pencil, a highlighter, and my script, because you're gonna have scripts, because production singer is like a Broadway musical. So I would write down everything next to the line, because you're, you're learning your blocking as well. Where to go on stage, what line to move off of. And you can't, you just cannot focus and really retain this. It's a lot of information coming at you quickly. You can't retain it um, if you're doing taking notes in your phone, okay? But what you do use your phone for is to videotape your rehearsals. This helped me so much, because everybody else in my cast, which there were four singers total, um, including me, so my other three singers, they weren't new hires, so they knew the, you know, the process, they knew how everything works, they were better dancers, you know, so here I come in there, you know what I'm saying, looking crazy with this cut on my face. That's a whole nother story. And um, just trying to like get my life together, but I'm thrown into this crazy situation. And so I was like, I don't, I don't mind being the slow kid in class. So anytime they did a new step, cause you're, you're thrown into choreography rehearsals. It's not just singing when you work on a, cru on a cruise ship. You got to dance too, which is why I recommend getting in shape, maybe take a few dance classes. I wish I had done that before I came. Take a few dance classes before you get there just to get used to picking up eight counts. The choreography is <clears throat> it's not crazy difficult, but it's a lot and it's a lot of blocking. So I chose to videotape my rehearsals. I had my phone out, like, can you do this? Do this again? Can you do that again? Can you do, I had no shame in my game. And some people used to sigh, oh, I can't believe she, I don't care. I do not care that you mad because I'm trying to get stuff right. I don't have the experience that you have, so I need to take this. Anyway, next point, go home and study after rehearsal. Go home and study. You're the slow kid in class. You're the new hire. You're just a really, really good singer and you're trying to fake it till you make it like I did. Go home and study. While everybody out, cause your cast is gonna be all these beautiful people. They're gonna be young, they're gonna be excited. They're gonna wanna go out and hang out and drink and, and do stuff. But you, you're gonna have to stay in and you're gonna have to go over all, everything you learned. It's like being in school again. Everything you learned that day, and drill it. Just go over and over and over it. The blocking, the singing, and the um, choreography. Just go over it over and over in your head. Pull that phone out, that's why that phone is great. It's like having the exact answers to your test. You will have separate vocal rehearsals with an instructor. So there's gonna be some days, like about three days, 
while you're in rehearsals where you will work with a vocal instructor. This is when you will go through the sheet music and you will sing the entire video down. You will have a vocal rehearsal with Princess. His name was Chuck. I forgot his last name, but his name was Chuck and he was really, really cool. But anyway, he's gonna be a stickler because this is where you work out the harmonies where the four part harmonies are in, that everything is scored out, everything is written in sheet music. That's why you need to know, is it an E, is it an F sharp, is it an E flat? What key are we in? You need to know all of that stuff. Take some online sight singing courses. That will help you, especially if you wanna to transition to being a headliner entertainer. If you're trying to sing on anybody's ship, just learn how to read music, I recommend. Solos, this is, oh boy. All right. Now, when I'm on a ship, oh yeah, I'm an entertainer for Royal Caribbean. I do a tribute to Whitney Houston with Royal Caribbean and I literally take you all on tour with me. Those videos are posted every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here. All you gotta do is tune in right here and then we'll be here every Sunday. But Set it go down, 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 down. Sundays, solos. I go on a lot of ships all the time and I go and I support the production singers. And sometimes I've seen some shows where they're doing the most with these solos. When it comes to solos, guys, learn exactly what they sent you on the original first. I know it might be cheesy and you're like, oh my God, who was this lady singing? I get it, I said the same thing. But I, I was like, there's a reason they want me to learn it exactly the way she's doing it on this recording. and. Boy, because basically what happens on a production singer contract, if you get sick, they have a sick track, which is that version that they've emailed you to learn. And if you don't know how to lip sync for your life to that sick track, honey, oh, you're gonna look like a fool. I am speaking from experience. I got sick back on the Caribbean Princess 2011 could not speak, could not say a word, and I had to sick track, and I hated it. I was so embarrassed, but I was so thankful that I put in that extra work before I even got to Los Angeles for rehearsals of learning the sick track and, and being able to sink right in with that. Now, once you get comfortable with the show and you've made some, you know, good vocal selections, yeah, take a few liberties, a few liberties. Oh, I see people get up there. I hate that. Don't you hate that? Anyway, take a few liberties, but not too many, okay? Just, just learn the dots on the page at first. All right, install, handover, and costume fittings. Once you make it to the ship, you're gonna go immediately into costume fittings and install. This is where you're going, the cast has already been on board for six months. You're going to fill in their place. And so it's kind of like a, a passing the baton, you know what I'm saying? But the other team is still running. So once you have all of the shows installed, that cast goes home. Install lasts about a month or two, depending on how many shows you have to get up and running. It tends to vary, but most times, depending on the length of cruise you're on or the itinerary, I'd say about two to three shows. Um, and during install, while you're on the ship, you're in rehearsal all day, every day. And if you're not in rehearsal, you're in costume fittings. And if you're not in costume fittings, you're asleep because you're tired. Install is intense. It's your first month and a half to two months on board the ship. So don't think once you get on the ship, it's like party. No, it's like, even more, more work. There is so much that goes into being a production singer and dancer and I wish the world would give them more credit because God, these people are so talented. You're ready to perform. You're ready. The shows are installed. You settled into your cabin. You've got your, you know, your, your uh, routine going. You know, as far as getting your own room, if you are with Princess Cruises, I know you get a guest cabin in uh, crew area uh, you do get the cabin to yourself and you are a, a guest entertainer which means you have passenger status but things changed after COVID I don't know how things are but if you're on board the ship longer than I think 
28 days you have to go on the crew list um but i've never had to be on the crew list before except when i worked for norwegian but i didn't like working for them but anyway that's neither here nor there so here's a little advice on what to do before your first show or before your show you're gonna want to come up with your you know your ritual your um formula what you do every time you might have to preset your costumes backstage because you will have quick changes and when i say quick changes i'm talking seven seconds five seconds it's just like broadway and don't let it be rocky and you trying to balance on one foot and slip your other leg into your gown and you got somebody standing behind you some complete stranger by the way whose job is just to zip you up yes you're gonna have dressers backstage with you that are like the engineers on the ship just trying to make some extra money on the side now they're very nice but if you are not comfortable with being naked taking your clothes off this is not the job for you this is show business baby you gotta drop it ask any broadway singer you got to drop it backstage i'm sorry to say that but that's how you get the show um you know that's how you're able to create this amazing illusion that the audience sees on the other side it's, it's simply incredible okay so you want to get to your dressing room about 30 to 45 minutes prior to showtime depending on if you do your makeup in your room or in your dressing room i always did mine in my room because it would just you know i just like to sometimes the dancers would be like loud backstage because they're so young you know and i don't want to be the grandma coming in there talking about quiet it down boys and girls quiet it down i didn't want to do that so I used to do my makeup in my room. That way I could have my music playing and just be chilling, you know. Once you're backstage, yes, you preset your costume. You're gonna put your mic on. You will have to do, if you're a singer, you will have to do a sound check um, the day of the show, every show, because you all, we wear these lavalier mics and you just have to check them every, every show day. So that normally happens about two hours before showtime which I used to use that time to preset my costumes um, as sound check. That way I wouldn't have to do it uh, before. Uh, put your mic on, you know, do your last minute makeup, put your costume and all that on. Stretch, definitely stretch and warm up. Uh, the production crew member is gonna call places. He's gonna make sure everybody hears it on, the, on stage right, backstage left, everybody places. That really happens backstage. It really happens in show business, ladies and gentlemen. So places to you means videos five minutes five minutes we say thank you five and then it's time to head backstage and get ready and then the curtain goes up and you you will be so prepared because they certainly make sure that you are prepared for everything uh that you're supposed to be doing you're, you're gonna be so comfortable you're, go you're still gonna be scared but you will have had a dress rehearsal you know, you will have had vocal rehearsals. It is an incredible job. This job saved my life. I was so angry when I got on my first ship, which was the Caribbean princess, by the way. I was so angry because I'm like, you mean to tell me I've been waiting tables and, and shucking and jiving and I could have been doing this? I am, it's hard to talk about my abusive relationship, but it's, it, I, it had that not happened, I would have never run away to cruise ships. There would not be a diva of the sea so I know it might sound dark to say that I'm glad that happened but I do count it all joy I count it all joy and this whole process of being a production singer it's not easy you're gonna have to make a lot of personal sacrifices you're gonna have to be away from your family for long periods of time possibly no Wi-Fi like it's a sacrifice to do this and the people that do it are incredible they're some of my closest friends and some of the nicest people in the world and if you're watching hello I love you guys if you have an opportunity to do this do it is it is it difficult yes do I see a lot of people with kids and husbands able to do this job no not unless your spouse is traveling with you which that don't even work out obviously. okay that's a whole nother story Lord Mac we about to go down a whole nother rabbit hole of negativity. Anyway, guys, I'm wrapping this video up here. Thank you so much for checking out this third installment of Set it go down, 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 down. Set it go down. Sundays, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you back here next Sunday 
for How To Be A Cruise Ship Singer Part 2, a headliner entertainer. That's right, where it's yo show. Oh my gosh. You have to make sure that you tune in. And also, make sure you tune in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to check out my Diva of the Seas on the Road tour videos, guys. So, you know we gotta sing the song. Make sure you comment and like and subscribe. Turn on your notification, notification, notifications. Max, you gotta be, Max is asleep. He is done. That's all right. We love you, Max. Show Max some love in the comments. <laughs> Steps on repeat jam of the week is it's a vibe again. I just love this song and boy, I don't know if you are following the Krishan Rock and Blueface drama, but boy, they're just, it's just, it's terrible, but it's so entertaining. <laughs> so I'm gonna be going live on this channel more. I don't know when I'm gonna go live. I can't be like everybody else and schedule my lives because I travel, I tour all the time. But I, I promise the sporadic times that I do pop in, it'll be more often, definitely. So if you miss one, don't feel bad. I'll be back. It's a vibe, vibe. also gonna be on TikTok more. Posting on TikTok. I've been having fun on TikTok, y'all. I'll be going in. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, check me out on TikTok. Stephanie Parker Music. 2023 cruise dates. They're coming very soon. And when they come in, I will post a video definitely announcing all my diva of the seas 2023 days i'm so excited i hope they give me the icon of the seas wouldn't that be dope if i could take y'all to the icon oh my gosh guys i always get so nervous before filming this segment but every time i do it i feel a lot better comment below if you're liking set and go down sundays i am enjoying teaching everything i know I got the sauce, I got the sauce, I got the recipe. I seen it all, been through it all, they know impressing me. It's a vibe all the time. Vibe! Vibe all the time. Vibe! Vibe all the time. Vibe! Vibe all the time. Oh my gosh. Max? Max is asleep. <laughs> I love you guys. I will see you. Spread the word, share the video. I love you. I'll see you next time. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Subscribe! Comment and subscribe. Subscribe! Comment and subscribe. Subscribe! Comment and subscribe. Subscribe! Still thanks you for watching.